As Java developer, you might use a lot collection API to handle any kind of data structure with Java. However, we still doing several mistakes. Today, let's talk about that and also how to avoid them inside our code sign. Hello you! Welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become an ultimate engineer and wants to receive a collection of advice around software design, software architecture, Java, NoSQL. If you want to know more, of course, to reach the ultimate stage of software sophistication, exploring the best practice of open source, please subscribe on this channel. Okay? let's start with the mistakes with collection so i will create my inventory class here so i come here inventory class where this one here has my list of items so i will come here i will create my string with the items and the mistake number one is to return new with any kind of collection, okay? Uh, when I don't have items on my inventory, I should return empty items and not a new item. So the first step here is make sure that my, my class, oops, will not return should not return new collection i come here oops i come here i come here i will create right now i you use Assess J as API. It's my favorite one, uh, but you can do that only with JUnit Jupyter. I will come with my class here, where I will take my inventory here, and then my items, and this one should not be new not is not new so this way uh, I need to check that every time that I use an explorer collection I should not return new what you can do you can explore the power of the utilitarian class collections that the Java already provides to you. So it has an issue because it's returning new. So what can I do is I need to check and encapsulate the behavior. So I can already initialize the items or check if it's new, I will return collections empty list and when I run again I will have my no empty collection anymore and that is the idea so the mistake number one is to return new as collection the collection should not be new when there's no item there it should be empty like any kind of list okay uh, the mistake number two is around encapsulation. Imagine right now that uh, I want to create items and the items, items belongs to the inventory. So just this class should hold and manipulate these items. So I need to make sure that uh, when I export the items, nobody will be able to change any kind of structure inside instead of the items. 
what I can do is exploring the collection self, come here and return on a modifiable list. So right now I have my modifiable list. This way, every time that somebody try to do a get items, okay, let's come here. Every time that I can try to do something like uh, public void, or even here. So every time that somebody try to do something like inventory get items, or they will not able to do the add here. They will not able to modify anything like here outside. Because right now we provided a read only collection. Okay, so it will return exception. Encapsulate the behavior on the collection. So, okay, I need to include items or time. What can I do? You can create this as access here. So public void add an item. Oops, I string item. And then you can do a validation here. Like on my, my case, the items should not be new. So item item is required so i did any kind of validation and take here the items and then uh, you included the item so again let's talk about those mistakes uh, the mistake number one is return uh, new when there's no information in the item so you can return the empty list if you wish you can already start the the item here this one is a good option because i need to check first if my items is not new and then start to operate with that okay when i already start my a list i don't need to do this kind of thing and then I can remove this code to become only a modifiable list as I did here. Okay, uh, return should not return new but empty. Make sure that only your domain class is changing the collection properly, and based on that, make sure you have consistency inside your collection. That's all for today. Please let me know your thoughts around collection. Of course, there are much more. And put your thoughts, comments, um, questions around collection. And uh, see you soon. Bye.